Hello, what is up guys? It's Evil Duos Arm here today, back with another video. In today's video, we're gonna be starting up a new Unreal Engine 4 tutorial series. In this tutorial series, we're gonna be building a 3D game, sort of like a first person survival horror slender type game, something where you can walk through a world, explore and look at different things. So in the comment section of the 2D side scroller series, there have been a lot of different questions that I feel like would be better answered in a 3D type game. Additionally, it seems like a logical time. We've kind of finished just about everything you kind of really need in a 2D side-scrolling game to move into a 3D game and kind of upgrade our knowledge. If you haven't already checked out the 2D side-scroller series and are interested in building a 2D side-scroller, check out the link that's popping up on your screen right now. But if you're here just to make a 3D game, you will definitely not be disappointed. We're going to be going through things like map creation, world generation. We're going to create an AI that's going to follow us around, sort of like a slender type of AI. Different item pickups, flashlight mechanics, basically everything you've come to expect in like a survival horror slender type game. So what we're going to do for the rest of this video is cover the project setup, basically everything you need to know to get started with Unreal Engine. If you've already watched the 2D side scroller video, fast forward a little bit and get to the point where I start showing you what assets we're going to be adding into the game. But without any further ado, let's get into it. So what you're going to need to do first is download Unreal Engine 4 if you don't have Unreal Engine 4. Unreal Engine 4 can be obtained from the link right here. There is no cost to buy Unreal Engine 4. It is free. You pay a royalty on any games that you sell if you make a certain threshold of money. So installing Unreal Engine 4 is going to bring up the Epic Games Launcher. If you already have the Epic Games Launcher from something like Fortnite, you can actually just pick up Unreal Engine on the left over here. The most recent version of Unreal Engine 4 will be available, which is 4.22.3. So go ahead and install that, or it will have already installed when you downloaded it from the website. Now this video will be built in 4.22.3. Newer versions of the engine might release between now and when you actually end up watching this video. And for the most part, this video will work in those newer versions. Sometimes they add some different nodes that make different tasks easier and whatnot but everything is pretty similar all the way through. I'll just be updating from 4.19 to 4.22 for this video series. The next thing we're gonna need are going to be assets for our game. So we're gonna be building a game world in our second episode, and we're gonna want some stuff to put in that game world. Now, Epic Games has been so kind as to release the entirety of Paragon, which was their attempt at like a MOBA type game, for free in the asset store. The link to both of these assets that we're gonna use are gonna be in the description below, and any further assets that we drag in from the Epic Store will be available in the link below. These assets are completely free to use in Unreal Engine 4 projects, and you can monetize any game that you make with these assets, which is really cool. The first one we're going to get is the environment, which has different trees, some rock structures, and a water floor, which will help us to create our level. The second one we're going to get is the Paragon character phase. You can use any character you want from Paragon. I'm choosing phase because she doesn't have any default weapons in her character model, so there's nothing you have to hide or remove or edit the character. It's just literally going to be a running character for a character to play as. So once again, both of these links to these downloads will be in the description below. After you've added both of those from the website into your game engine, you're going to see them pop up down here in this bottom section. As you can see, I have a ton of different assets that I've added into my games, but the two you're going to be looking for are the Agora and Monolith, as well as Paragon Phase. My mouse is circling them right now. They're sort of in the middle of the screen. Once both of those are there, you can go ahead and create your first project. So if you've never created a project before, this will be empty, and you're going to go ahead and hit the launch button on 4.22.3, or whatever engine you currently have. After the Unreal Project Browser launches, navigate to the New Project tab and select the third-person template. After that, you're going to have some options to pick from, either a desktop console or mobile as tablet as your target audience, the maximum quality or scalable 2D or 3D, I like to pick the scalable 2D to 3D since you can basically go in any direction, but if you are targeting as like a PC game only, go ahead and pick that maximum quality. And then starter content just gives you some basic meshes and materials, so I like to keep that on as well. Then you're going to be able to pick which folder you want to save all of your stuff to, so I save it to my D drive, and for this we're going to call it YouTube 3D. You can name it whatever you want to name the file. So go ahead and hit create project. After you create your project, you're going to get dropped into the third person demo map. If you click play, you've got a character that you can move around in third person walk around on these little stairs, and basically you have like the startings of a really, really basic game. Go ahead and hit escape to knock out of that. What we need to do now is we need to add those assets that we downloaded earlier into this new folder. So to do that, what you're going to do is navigate to the system tray and select on the Epic Games launcher in the bottom corner that got minimized. You might be able to alt tab to it depending on your computer, but the system tray has it right here available for you. So go ahead and click on that to open up the Epic Games Launcher. Over here, navigate back to Unreal Engine and then your library. And at the bottom of your library, what you're gonna do is navigate to Paragon, Agora, and Monolith, and Paragon Phase, and add to project. What you wanna do is add them to the YouTube 3D project or whatever you named that project. So go ahead and click Add to Project, YouTube 3D for both of them, or once again, whatever you named the project. You can see these files are massive, so they're gonna take up a ton of time. So I'll come back when those are done. So that ended up actually taking about 35 minutes for my computer to run, so be prepared to go and find something else to do while you're doing this. But anyway, after you've done that, go ahead and click on this little icon to the left of filters, and you're now going to see a whole bunch of different things that dropped into the menu here. 
So the first one you're going to see is Paragon Phase, and if you go ahead and click on the Paragon Phase folder, navigate to the characters, Heroes, Phase, you will see that we have the Phase player character. And when you double click on her, it's going to go ahead and start compiling shaders, which is why the game thing is locking up right now. So when we hop in here into the viewport of the Phase player character, you're going to see that she's currently like grayed out and kind of just looks like a block. Um, what's going to need to happen is that these shaders that are compiling, and you can see how far it's got left to go. Right now I have 2300 left to go before it is done compiling. Um, at that point, you'll be able to see the player character and go ahead and use it. So wait for those shaders to finish compiling. This will take some time. But once you've done this once, you won't have to do it again. And after the shaders have compiled, you're going to see that we pretty much have our character in here. You can go around, take a look at her. And this is the character we're going to be using for this game. And this is the point where we're going to pretty much stop here, guys, for this video. So we've got our characters, we've got our world imported, we've got everything we're going to need to get started. In the next portion of the video, we're going to set up the character and change the player character from this dude, this stick looking dude, into the face character, as well as move the camera into a first person camera so it's more of like a survivor horror feel. If you did like this video, make sure to stick around for the other parts in the series they will be coming out later and throughout the week. Make sure you subscribe so you stay updated when new parts in the series come out. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you at the next video. Peace.